This is Lime Stark, and in this video we are looking at trig equations. So trig equations are basically a way where we need to find what x is, but it will involve sine, cos, or tan. So the first one here is 4 sine x is equal to 3, and our objective is to find what x is. So this means that we're going to have to do a little bit of rearranging to get sine x is equal to 3 quarters. Now we know that sine has to be in between 1 and minus 1 due to its curve and its curve looks a little bit like this and the top is 1 and then that bottom part is minus 1 so we know that the it has to be in between 1 and minus 1 and 3 quarters is in between 1 and minus 1 so that's fine now in order to find x what we're going to do is sine to the minus one of three quarters. And you can find sine to the minus one by pressing shift sine on your calculator. And this is equal to 48.6, and that's in degrees. However, normally, this, the questions here are in the range of 0 is sort of equal x and then 360. So this means that we're trying to find all the possible answers within this range. And there is another answer. And it, with sine, what we do is we do 180 minus the first answer. So 180 minus 48.6 is equal to 131.4 degrees. Now in order to find the next answer, you would simply add 360 to 48.6. However, because this is out of the range, it means that we don't have to worry about that. So the next one is using tan. And again, we're gonna do some rearranging and we can find out that we're going to minus the 4 of both sides and we're also going to divide everything by 9. This means that you're going to get tan x is equal to minus 4 over 9. Now once again what we'll do is x is going to be equal to tan to the minus 1 which is found by pressing shift tan on your calculator, and then minus four over nine. Now, therefore, we can find out here that x is equal to minus 24. However, we know this is out the range. So in order with tan, it basically what you do is you add 180 each time. So it's the easiest one out of the three. So minus 24 plus 180 is equal to 156. And then 156 plus 180 is equal to 336 degrees. So we can minus this minus 24 because it's not in the range of zero to x and then 360. It's not between 0 and 360. Um, if, for it, however, it may have been minus 180 to 180, then minus 24 and 156 would be answers. However, 336 wouldn't be an answer that's necessary. So the final one is using cos. And again, on this one, we'll do cos x is equal to minus 2 thirds. Now, therefore, we'll be using the cos minus 1, x, to the minus, to the minus 2 thirds. Now, here we find out that x is equal to 131 point eight. Now, of course, what we do is we do 360 minus the answer. So 360 minus 131.8 is equal to 
0.2. And if we were to carry on going, we would do 131.8 plus 360. However, again, this is outside of range, so it's not necessary. So the next part to look at is when we put it into a quadratic equation. And the first one here is sine squared theta minus two sine theta plus one is equal to zero. And in order to make this easier, I'm gonna say that sine theta is equal to w. Now this will give us a quadratic equation. So therefore, we can say that w squared minus 2w plus 1 is equal to 0. And we can simplify this to w minus 1 squared. Now, therefore, we can substitute the w for the sine theta. So, therefore, we can get sine theta minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, sine theta is equal to 1. Sine minus 1 to the 1 is equal to 90 degrees. And then using the 180 minus the original answer, you get 90 again, so therefore, we know that the only answer is 90. However, if we were to minus 180 from this, we would get plus or minus 90, because remember, it can be a minus as well. And this is in the range of 180, minus 180 to 180. So the next one is seven cos theta plus six sine squared theta minus eight is equal to zero. And the thing that's different about this equation is the fact that we have both cos theta and sine theta. And in order to do this, we need to make sure that we can change this sine squared theta into a cos squared theta. And if you watched my last video, you would know that you can do this by changing this to one minus cos squared theta. So therefore, six and then 1 minus cos squared theta plus 7 cos theta minus 8 is equal to 0. And then we can rearrange all of this to get minus six cos squared theta plus seven cos theta. And then we'll do the minus eight plus six. So that's minus two is equal to zero. Now, again, we're gonna let cos theta equal, we'll say y this time, it doesn't matter what letter you choose, comes to the same thing. Um, and instead of saying minus um, y squared, we're just gonna change this to six y squared to make it slightly nicer to work with, which means that we're gonna to have to change this to minus seven y but it also means that the minus two can change to a plus two equals zero. And this will give us two different answers because we have three y minus two and then two y minus one. And that is equal to zero. And again, we'll replace the y back with the cos y. So therefore, for the first one, we'll have three cos 
theta minus 2 is equal to 0, which will end up being cos theta is equal to 2 thirds. And once we've done the cos minus 1 of 2 thirds, we'll find out that theta is equal to 48.2 and then we'll do 360 minus 48.2 to get 311.8 now it's the same thing to do for the 2y minus 1 so therefore we get 2 cos theta minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, cos theta is equal to a half therefore theta is equal to 60 and then 360 minus 60 is equal to 300. And those are our four answers for this 48.2, 311.8, then 60 and 300. So thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.